Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here with the video of, guess what, dun da 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 Energizer Chargers. I just thought I'd show you that this is a new charger that Energizer released in either 2019 or early 2020. A Energizer one hour charger, a rapid charge that speed charges batteries using 2.5 amps of current. The charger has overheat protection, short circuit detection, and bad battery and primary battery detection. It has a voltage sensor and it has a timer shut off to prevent overcharge. And this uses an LED indicator fuel gauge right here that flashes in segments from 1 to 4. This will tell you when the battery is bad by when the fuel, the fuel gauge flashes rapidly one of the four fuel gauge slots will blink telling you the battery. You can see it charges up at 25% increments. It'll continue until it turns solid blue on all lights. The batteries might feel hot when using the Energizer one hour charger. These are Energizer recharge batteries. I've been had these, but these are the old design right there. The new design has a new logo on it. This came with four AA rechargeables, and I put three up in the weather radio up there. I will show you what they look. Like, show you what the new design looks like. This is it. This is the Energizer design right here. That this is the new Energizer recharge look. This is the brand new redesign. At Two thousand milliamp hours. This is the new the new pattern that Energizer has done in their 2019-2020 batteries. This is their old design on their batteries a long time ago, their old design. The batteries I've got here are 2300 milliamp hours, a set of eight. The charger came with a set of four AA 2000 milliamp hour batteries. You can see the charge segments are done in one, two, three, four. So once when this charge segment stays solid on this one will jump this one will jump and this one will flash until it stays solid on all four i will have another video demonstrating the bad battery detection and disposable battery detection feature what happens if a bad rechargeable battery is inserted or if a disposable battery is inserted in here but this is pretty rapid. It's based on the capacity. Batteries that are 2000 milliamps will have a shorter charge time than the higher capacity ones. Lower capacities will charge quicker, but the higher capacities may take a little longer. It, it varies on the milliamp hours of the battery. The higher, the, the lower the milliamp, the shorter the charging time. The higher, the longer, so it kind of varies between the milliamp hours. There is a voltage detection, temperature dete temperature protection, safety shut off by timer control, and trickle charge, and overheat protection. This is the charger with the vent holes in the back, and there is the AC adapter plug-in. It accepts a car cigarette lighter adapter as well as a wall one, but Energizer ships the AC adapter only with their one-hour charger. But if you listen closely, you may not be able to hear a clicking sound in the charger. Let me put it in my ear. There is a clicking noise. See if you can hear it. There is a clicking, clicking sound in the charger that's produced, so... My scale of 1 to 10 is, I like this particular charger because it, it is going to get very, very hot to the touch. That's normal because of it is a rapid charger, one hour, so that's why it's going to feel a little hotter. A long time ago, I did a battery review on the Lacrosse, battery charger review on the Lacrosse BC700 that came with the charger manual in a wall plug and the B Lacrosse BC700 charger was able to use different charging current selects, different discharge, refresh, test, discharge, charge, 
different mode cycles you could set the charger to. It had an LCD screen with each individual charging channel, and it had an overheat detection where a metal strip would be touching near the top of the AA battery or AAA, and if the battery got too hot, the charger would immediately slow down the charging down to zero milliamps. It would use milliamps from at least 200 all the way to 700 milliamps as the charging current. But if you saw it at 700 milliamps, and if the AA AAA batteries got way too hot to the touch, that just means that you're using a current that is way too high for the batteries, like a incompatible current. When you plug in the charger and put the batteries in, it would default to a lower current, but the user could rapid charge the battery by setting it to a higher current. And the battery could the battery charger could discharge test the batteries to show you the estimated milliamp hour on the LCD screen on the Lacrosse one, but on the Energizer one, this is autonomously automatic. This has no user selective interactions except you just put the batteries in, plug the charger in, and let it sit. Um, the other one, the Lacrosse BC seven hundred one, had different buttons. You it could allow you to check. The temperature or check the milliamp hour and voltage and time it spun on the charger but the other charger had no bad battery detect it would detect when a rechargeable battery is bad but it wouldn't be able to check whether a disposable battery is inserted or not it just wouldn't be able to tell but energizer integrated a bad battery detection and disposable battery detection in some of their chargers so if you insert a bad rechargeable battery the charger will tell you or if you inserted a disposable battery, which like an alkaline battery, I don't understand why would you put in a disposable alkaline battery to a battery charger like these, because Energizer chargers can detect it and tell you that you're using a incompatible battery chemistry type, such as alkaline or zinc carbon, like it'll tell you when you're using a wrong battery. I'll show you this example right now, what happens when you put in a rechargeable battery, that, or a non-rechargeable battery, or a bad battery. I'll demonstrate this using AA zinc carbon cells. I'll show you how the Energizer charger is able to detect that. How it's able to catch you using disposables in a charger like Energizers, or similar manufacturers. Watch. If you look closely, it turns red, but see it's blinking red. That indicates that you're using disposable batteries, just an example demonstration here. It's flashing, saying you're using disposables rapidly, or you have bad rechargeable batteries inserted. So basically, Energizer integrated a battery detection of whether you're using a disposable or a bad rechargeable. Now, I don't know how it works. All I can guess is by the voltage of the battery... If it detects that there's a voltage error, it'll do that. But it can't really tell the chemistry battery you're using. It just tells by the voltage to, to verify if it is a rechargeable battery or a throwaway one. That's just was a demonstration of how that charger reacted to it. It just was blinking red saying you're using disposables. This one is doing a little scenario, which I will demonstrate after the charging is done. Energizer released different battery chargers over the years. They've been doing battery manufacturing for over the years. These well, these are their newer iterations. The value chargers here, the ones with the lights at the top. This is their newer one. They released a AA CD 9 volt family battery charger that has C and D rechargeable batteries and 9 volt battery charging support for the 9 volt rechargeables. A long time ago. Energize released a basic charger that was a manual non-timer controlled charger, meaning the charger that Energizer formerly released never had an auto timer shut off. I'll show you that. <clears throat> I'm at the Energizer website and this is what it looks like. So if we go to the basic charger, if you go to compare, these are their family of chargers. You have the Energizer Recharge Pro. One hour is the one I've got the fast charger. Here's the value, which is that one I have. 
The basic charger is just two green LEDs that turn on and timer controlled. There's the universal family charger right there that can charge AA, AAA, and C and D 9 volt. Now if we go to their technical info, which we can find on their Energizer site, tech info right here. We click chargers and click search. And now here's this one. That's their newer iteration one. And now there are some obsolete chargers that I want to show you as a history. These are their obsolete chargers, their discontinued models. This one's Energizer Rapid, another rapid charger that's been long discontinued since like early 2007. This is another variation that had a single LED on the right. And this is what it looks like. This one's a very old charger that uses one, a one LED up here and four LEDs right there. This one is obsolete and discontinued. This one's another one that looks amazingly similar to the one I've got. This one looks similar to the one down there, except the one down there is all black and blue blue for the LED lights. This one's all silver. Its specification is charges at 2.5 amps for AA and 1 amp for AAA. This one is a 30 minute one that uses four slots but is also discontinued. It charged at AA 4 amps, AAA 1.5 amps, 1.5 this one is a CH car charger, one that's used for car. This one would charge at 7, 0.7 amps, 0.35 amps. This one's another car variant that uses 1 amps for AA. AAA is 0.4 amps. This is Energizer's discontinued model that uses one LED. There's AC adapter port at the top. There are the old Energizer rechargeable battery design labels the very old ones. This one is a simple charger that's been long discontinued. A quattro charger is what it's called. And it would charge AA at 0 0.36 amps, 0 0.15 amps, and 0 0.3 amps or 9 volts. This one's a family charger that uses ultra low current at 0 0.525 amps, 0 0.197 amps, 0 0.525 amps and 9 volt at 0 0.04 amps. This is for the North America region. Energizer chargers would vary per different country. This is the Energizer family that it would expand to let you charge eight batteries at once. This one's a compact charger that would charge at 0 0.36 amps and 0 0.12 amps. This one I had a long time ago and I 2008, 2009, a compact charger with the, with the battery compartment, you slide out to open, you slide up to close. It had individual LEDs at the top and a fold-out prong. Here's another one I used to have. It also was back in like 2007, 2008 when I had a Nintendo Wii. I would use this or here, the compact charger with the Nintendo Wii remote because the Wii remote would eat through batteries so bad that I would have to use Energizer rechargeables just for the Wii remote due to it eating through batteries at the time I had the Wii. This right here is the LED light slots, and this is the same thing as the other one I showed. This is the family one that is a lid cover that has an LCD on the front, and you open and close it. You open it to put batteries, and you close it to start the charging cycle, and the LCD indicator will tell you what's there. This one's a universal charger that is discontinued, also that has a indicator to the left, lid to the right where it's a door. You open the lid door, put the batteries in and close it and plug it into the wall. This one is a family charger. It's a gunmetal metallic gray color that uses a clear door with two indicator lights. And you, this is the C and D and nine volts charger edition. I had this one a long time ago where it had two LED lights that are red that would light up and turn off after a certain amount of hours. And here's another variation from Energizer. This one's got an auto shut off with the two red and green lights and auto or auto shut off in the red and green line and the 
power button right there in the faceplate, changeable skin pl plate things. That's the Easy Charger. That's another variant of the CHFM8 Easy, another variant. These are the two compact chargers. They're the same but different variants. This one had nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride battery chemistry switch. That was a long time ago for Energizer. Here's another compact one that doesn't have that. Has a 9 volt plug charge there in the middle. This one's a CHM4 AA. It's also older, from like the early 2000s or late 90s, early 2000s, with 9 volt charging slots. Here's another variant from way back in the early 2005, 2006. This one's a smart one with the timer and fuel gauge. I had that one, or not that one. Actually, not this one. I had the other one, which is this model, this variant. I think, yeah, I think it was this variant right here. Here's the dock and go that was long. I remember seeing the dock and go on Energizer website is long discontinued. Here's the CH SM, a quick charge one that could charge nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium chemistry types. This is the one that was crit okay. This one's called an Energizer USB charger. This one you could charge through the wall charger or computer charge. It would charge two AAAs in 1.6 hours and two AA's in 4.5 hours. You could charge through the USB port in your computer wall outlet. This one is it. Unfortunately, the only disadvantage is this particular charger, the Energizer produced in early 2009, 2008. It's called the Energizer Recharge duo charger there was a software you could download on your computer to watch the charging status of the battery of this particular energizer charger but the problem was the software had a trojan in it trojan.arugeyser.dll was a trojan a backdoor trojan in the energizer battery software i'll provide a link to read more about an archived link um, this one's another variant, a basic charger with just two lights and two double A's already in it. This is a discontinued charger. You can no longer find this at all, except on eBay, possibly. This one's the value charger I had in early 2006, 2007, somewhere right around there. One that basically had four triple A and double A slots, two green indicator LEDs, and it would never have an automatic shutoff timer. It would never did because it was a manual charger. This is what it looked like. If you can look closely, you can see that there's no trickle charge or shutoff mechanism. This one had the different capacities shown for the charge time. This one had the cordless. This one had the easy LED indicators. And this one has another one. This is the same variant. This is actually a different variant of the other one I just showed. This one is the value charger that was a long time ago, like in early 2010. And then the value charger here, another one that is somewhat similar to the one down there, but with two green LED indicators. Then this is the FCC2 and EverReady one that only charged nickel cadmium batteries called the FCC2. This one is an older charger that only charged nickel cadmium used five hour quick charging. And I don't exactly know when the year that Energizer publishes their chargers except the ones I remember from early 2010, early 2007 for that one, sometime in like late 2013 for that one, 2009 for that one, eight, 2007, somewhere around some of these chargers. That current one is a C, CHV CM4 and the CHV CM4E, the CHV C4, the later chargers. And this one is the, the one that can charge C and D and 9 volt. This is the CHFC3 one. 
and then the other variation that is called the CH Pro one that uses an audible tone. So that's pretty much it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.